Welcome back runners, this is Coriamone and uh, today we are going to compare two great shoes, the Brooks Hypinion Tempo and ASICS Evo Ride 2. But before to start, just a quick uh, disclaimer, both payro shoes I bought with my money and no one is paying me for this review. So guys, let's get started and enjoy the battle. Let's start saying that um, we are talking about two great shoes, um, but with some important difference. Uh, starting, for instance, for um, from the weight, the Ipinon Tempo has a weight of 212 grams, and the Asics uh, Everide 2 or Everide 2 has a weight of 247 grams in the US 10 size, that is basically my size. So there are uh, 35 grams of difference, uh, which is already an important uh, difference of weight. The Epinion Tempo use a DNA flash form with uh, infused nitrogen. Brooks have delivered different uh, forms, uh, great forms, I would say. And for instance, uh, they delivered the DNA ham, which is a good, a great, I think the, the best energy return. And the, the DNA loft, which is softer than the other form. And uh, of course, the DNA flash used uh, for the first time, I think, in the Hyperion Tempo. And uh, DNA Zero, if I remember well, in the Hyperion Elite, which is for racing. I found the DNA flash form uh, uh, performing great, especially for Tempo Run, of course. But for Tempo Run, uh, with a pace uh, uh, below the 4 minutes 50 seconds per kilometer, which is uh, 6 minutes 15. Uh, 51 uh, seconds per mile uh, but when you slow down um, it's um, it becomes too squishy and um, especially in the forefoot I really felt it a lot on the other end the six c right to use the uh, flat foam uh, material uh, which is uh, still uh, a light foam a little bit stiffer than the flesh foam and uh, it is also uh, cable fibers um, uh, embedded so it gives a uh, nail structure protection uh, which is better than the nitrogen used in the flesh foam uh, the drop, which is the difference between the quantity of material used uh, um, under the heel or, and the quantity of material used under the forefoot is 8 mm in the uh, Ipinion Tempo and 5 mm in the ASICS Evo Ride 2. So we have uh, 3 mm of difference, uh, which is already uh, uh, an important difference. Usually for the drop we do some consideration uh, for high drop, for instance, over 7 mm. They are suggested for uh, runners to land first in the, in the heel or uh, for runners that have uh, uh, issues with the uh, Achilles tendon or for runners that uh, are used to uh, wear shoes with uh, an eye stuckate in the, in the heel. On the other end, a low uh, drop 
between 0 to uh, 6 mm is usually best and suggested for runners who land uh, first on the meat or in the front of the foot. But this is not only the things that we should consider when we look to the characteristic of a shoe, uh, we should also consider the stockade, the overall stockade, so basically how much cushion we have uh, uh, in, the, in the shoe. Let me tell you uh, we, which is the difference, I took some notes because I don't remember otherwise. Uh, the Alpinion Tempo is uh, 31 mm in the heel and 23 mm in the forefoot, whereas the ASIC Save Ride 2 is 34 mm in the heel uh, and 29 mm in the forefoot. Uh, so there is a difference uh, here. Another important thing to consider is the profile of the shoe. So um, the ASICs uh, Evo Ride 2 use the um, so called guide sole uh, technology, which helps to create a, a rolling uh, motion and propel the, the, the foot forward, even though the 5 mm drop. This technology usually uh, helps also to uh, reduce the ankle flexion and uh, uh, the energy consumption uh, during running. In the Alpino Tempo we have also a carpet profile and uh, an higher drop of course of 8 mm but less cushioning that uh, we have to consider. For the outsole, we have plenty of rubber for both shoes. In the outsole, uh, the grip, especially in the in wet condition, um, wasn't that good for the Alpinion Tempo. I felt the ASICs here right to a little bit more grippy than the Brooks overall, but especially in the wet condition. I like the fact that both shoes applied carvings in the in the rubber, uh, which make the shoe uh, more flexible. In this regard, the Brooks have uh, a huge central carvings all along the shoe, which give more flexibility uh, than in the Evo Ride to form. Uh, especially in the change of direction, uh, I felt it uh, a lot. And uh, talking about stability, let's jump to talk about the upper of the shoes. The fit of the Pyrrhon Tempo is basically better than the Evo Ride 2. Doesn't Leave uh, room in the in the forefoot, or at least not that much like in the Evo Ride 2. This gives stability to the shoes, especially in the change of directions. The upper of the Apion Tempo is even more breathable, and therefore it's highly suggested, uh, especially during the summer season. The tank in the Apion Tempo is perfect, so it has the uh, right padding. The Evo Ride 2, on the other hand, is ridiculous because uh, there is uh, too much padding. Both have a similar sole dimensions and also a carpet profile, as I said, so in this regard we don't have uh, uh, big differences. I like the Brooks because they started to um, design carpet profile already with the first model of the um, Ravenna. And uh, I don't know if you ever tried this uh, uh, shoes. Basically, if you if you need a little bit of uh, protection for pronation, even if you uh, usually uh, wear uh, neutral shoes, uh, but maybe you are preparing a, a marathon or you are uh, preparing a long distance uh, um, uh, race, then this could be the shoes for you and for your rotation. You can find the uh, link up here or one of my first uh, shoe review videos. For the laces, I like more the, the laces in the Evo Ride too, because uh, in the Hyperion Tempo um, there are the stretching ones that are not really good uh, for the lockdown. But then say that uh, to come to a conclusion, which is the best shoe for the Tempo run? Is it the Hyperion Tempo or the Evo Ride too? Well, considering that the Hyperion Tempo is uh, lighter, lower, with less cushioning, uh, with a, a foam that is uh, less stiff than the foam used in the Hasix Evo Ride 2. I, I would use this uh, shoe, especially for tempo run, at a faster pace. Even in a path with a lot of change of direction, because uh, as I said, in terms of stability, the, the upper, uh, the feet uh, ensure a good stability. The Evo Ride 2 I would use for uh, tempo run at a slower pace, uh, maybe uh, where there are not so many change of directions because the room in the in the forefoot. The Evo Ride 2 is heavier, yes, of course. Uh, uh, so in case you are uh, chasing a good performance, I would suggest to use the uh, Hyperion Tempo. But the good thing is that you can use the Evo Ride 2 even for slow run because the cushioning and the high stockade. Uh, so overall, the shoe is more comfortable than the Hyperion Tempo.
So guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, please leave a thumbs up so that I understand you like this kind of video and uh, consider to subscribe so to support the channel and to activate the notification bell so that you will not miss any video. And uh, as usual, thanks for watching and I'll see you soon in the next one.